Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial episode. My name is William. In this episode, I want us to talk about how to do live reload in our Liveware full page applications using Vite. So let us dive into it and see how you can be able to implement that. And we are just going to do something simple, the Laravel way in which we can be able to do live reloads in Laravel uh, blade, uh, blade files. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to open our layout file. And this is the application that we've been able to work with throughout all these episodes. So I want us to open components, layouts, update blade. And what I need to do here is just to include the white uh, line above here. So we can be able to include JavaScript and CSS. So I want to just have at white so we will include resources, CSS, app.css. And we can also include the JavaScript file. So that one is also found in resources, JS, app.js file. So basically that is what I want us to include here. And I think that is just about everything. Let me just extend such that you can be able to see whatever it is that we have here. So basically just that. The next thing that I need to do is to now have npm run dev. So I'm going to open another terminal and I'm going to run the command npm run dev. And this command will actually now compile the assets using Vite. And then from there, we can be able to enjoy that feature. So this is our application. I would like to, to just refresh. And now I want to go to the live wire pages. So in this case, I want to just visit products because there was a component that we did call products. I want to hit enter. And as it loads, I will just afterwards do a little bit, just type in something and change and we see if it is possible for it to be able to reload. And that will be just about it regarding our application. I've not been able to connect my app to the database. So let me go ahead and connect. That's the reason why we're having that error. So let me, yes, I'm going to start Zamp and then refresh again. And now we are able to display our products. So I just want to do something on that specific component and maybe just to pull it down a little bit such that we can be able to see if there is an, a reload that actually takes place. So I want us to go to any file. So inside all products, I want us to go to maybe place here and maybe instead of action, I want to add an S and have it as actions. You can see when I'm saving, we are having a reload above here. If I delete that and save again, you can see we are having a reload. So in this case, we can be able to do that and implement live reload and live reload you actually assist the developer instead of going every single time and refreshing it can be able to refresh the page for you and you can be able to be rid of some uh, challenges and increase your time in which you can be able to use in programming thank you very much for following this tutorial video up until this point subscribe comment share and also give the video a thumbs up if you like it thank you